So I wanted to do a video to show you a little bit more about the beaver wings because I think they might be the part of this product that I'm most proud of. I almost gave up on them, um, but I think that they turned out great and there's a ton of thought into all the aspects of the design, so I thought I'd walk you through it. Um, so one, I wanted them to be easy to use, so once you put them on, it takes about two and a half minutes to do it and that's me not rushing just like okay i know where all the shock cord goes to attach it um and the nice thing is that once you put it on you can actually leave these two pieces of shock cord attached to the panel and then all you have to do to put it on take it on and off if you're taking the panel off is just take off this clip and undo this one knot and it comes right off um, and you can take the whole panel off with it and just leave it like that um so you use this uh clip to clip onto the Hypalon loop at the end of the zipper pull here, and that acts as your main anchor point on this side. And then we actually utilize the fact that there is a hole in the bottom of the water bottle pocket here um, to run a piece of shock cord through and then tie it off. So one of the important things uh, in this whole design is I really wanted to make sure that the shock cord doesn't wear on any of the components of the backpack itself and cause a problem later on. So we have this squadron that loops over the top and then comes out of the bottom of the pocket. And so the shock cord actually sits um, over the top of the water bottle pocket on this fabric and not on the water bottle pocket. So it's not wearing on the pocket itself, it's wearing on the wing. Um, so it shouldn't cause any issues there. And then uh, one of the biggest things is I wanted this to look super clean because if you're gonna leave it on your backpack, it's such a nice looking pack that I really didn't want to um, disturb the aesthetic of it. So. You can see, you basically just see this piece. You've got two bar tacks here, but it's wide enough that it covers up the clip itself. And then you've got the uh, super strong and durable um, ultra stretch from Challenge Sailcloth um, that just came out. Uh, so it's got the UMW PE fibers in it. It's the same um, fibers that are Ultra and Dyneema are made out of. Um, so this should be super strong and abrasion resistant. So I'm not worried about it in the long term. And then one of the other parts over here is I wanted it to be able to work, even if you let this all the way out, that this stretches with the pack and the, using the beaver tail. And so you never have to adjust this. Once you put it on, it'll just stretch as needed. And so you don't have to let this out and then also adjust the, the wing. This will just stay as it is. Um, so on this side, I, want, I basically made a series of little loops that you can run it through. So it kind of alternates going through the bottom loop uh, on the panel, and then it weaves itself, as you can see, in and out of uh, different parts. And then here, on these parts, because this is used for Molly later, there's holes in here so that it will wear on this hole and not on the edges of this in case you want to use it later for other things. So um, it sits super nice and snug against here, and it pulls uh, all the attachment points sort of pull underneath the panel so you don't see any of that. You really just end up seeing this piece of fabric and then the stretchy fabric of the wing. You don't see any of the attachment here and that's very deliberate.